Okay, first, got Gerbil Web open. Select the serial port. Click on settings. You can see all the Gerbil settings. Then I'm going to open up Inkscape. And in Inkscape, I'm going to draw a 300 pixel circle. That's the diameter of the circle. So the first thing I do is create a circle. Take the fill out. I don't think you have to do this. Then I go to Object Properties. Sorry, Object Transform. I change the scale to Pixels and change it to 300 by 300. It's important to use pixels because JS Cut transfers one pixel to one unit. I save it as 300 pixel circle by SVG. Leave. Then open up JS Cut from Gerbil Web. First thing, open SVG local. Select that file that I just created. It brings it in here. Click on it. And change everything to metric. Using a 1500 millimeter and an 800 cut. Have a 10 millimeter thick piece of wood. Three millimeters of clearance. Generate the operation, then change it to an outside cut. Do a ramp flood. Change the units to millimeters. Say I want to cut the entire 10 millimeters depth. Generate the toolpath. It's important over here that you change the x offset to the inverse of min x, so that's negative there, and the y offset to positive, whatever the inverse, so the opposite is of that. <clears throat> that basically makes where your tool starts uh, be the cut path. Then I exported it to JS Cut, and that basically by clicking save and then save to Gerbil Wed. That brings it over here automatically inside the command window. So you can see there save G code at the top. Gerbil Web. There it is loaded in there. So all the data, now the G code from that file is inside Gerbil Web ready to send to Gerbil. So the first thing I do is I'm using the WASD and the up and down keys, basically just moving around uh, the head of the CNC in order to get the position, the start position set correctly. Make sure you're in relative REL G91 to do this. So you'll see here, click REL, and then plus one, plus one, plus one, basically I'm just holding down the key and getting it centered correctly to where I want to start it, so give that a moment. Now I'm moving the Y. Okay, still got my G code here, now I'm moving the Z, so I'm getting it set at the top, which is what I had set in JS Cut. Then you want to change it to absolute mode G90 and zero the machine so it knows that is the zero position. Then I just click send. That sends the G code to the machine and you can see it starts cutting. And we've even got one, which is very nice. 